Red Shark IBC 2023 coverage is sponsored by. Hi, I'm Victoria Nice, Principal Product Manager for After Effects, and I'm here at IBC 2023 to show off some really exciting stuff that we have on the way. Uh, one of the things that's right on the screen behind me is you can see we have finally, after many, many years of uh, feature requests and development, everything true 3D model import coming natively to After Effects, no plugins needed, and deeply integrated into the timeline. So this is a unified space where you have a 3D model, but you also have images and video and text and everything else you can do in After Effects, and it can all happen in one place. And that's the real power of this workflow is being able to bring in models, render them at really high quality. Uh, this model is created and textured with uh, the substance tools, and so you can see you get these really beautiful water drops on here. Uh, we can get some really nice lighting effects, and it's super performant because it's a new 3D engine that's actually a gaming style engine, but tuned for creative video workflows. So there's a ton of power in this, and you can go a lot more than just one model flying around in space. In fact, there's environment lights with image-based lighting, so you can actually use an image to light your scene creatively. And so here I'm casting light and shadows using an image of a studio. And so that image just looks like this. Uh, it's an rectangular projection. It's a, we're projecting through the light to the sphere. And then that's actually what's lighting up these bottles. So if I jump back to, instead of that, my uh, original default lighting, you can see that this is going to completely change the character of the scene in just one click with one light. You can get really wild with these. You can do things that are totally creative and not so photoreal as well, and really stylize your designs. It's a whole new workflow for After Effects. And if I have to make a terrible pun, bringing After Effects into a whole new dimension. Huh. That's not all. We also have the new enhanced Rotobrush on the way. Uh, we introduced a in previous update to the Rotobrush in 2020. But the new one is a whole new AI model, and it makes tracking things so much faster and so much easier because there's a lot less correction required. It's a lot smarter about things like this shot where his hands pass in front of his face. That's the kind of thing that could be really tricky to roto before. So I can open this up and I can grab my roto brush and I can just paint down the person I want to select. So I'm just going to do a super rough track here. And you don't have to trace around the edges or anything like that. I'm not going to be perfect about this. You can hold down the option key to deselect areas you don't want, add something you do. Honestly, that's good enough. I'm just gonna hit spacebar and let's see how well this tracks in. And this is super quick. You can see, watch how fast that green bar is going. It's just gonna jump straight to the beginning. And now when his hand passes in front of his face, we don't lose that track. And if I wanted to, I could refine this. I could go in and do a couple more details. But for a lot of things, this is actually enough. And when I go back to my composition, I have some animated text I want to put behind them. I'm just going to hit play. That's pretty much ready to go. So for a simple workflow like this, you can have a fully roto shot in a matter of seconds. So it's a super powerful update to the Rotobus. So we've got big things coming to After Effects. We're really excited about them. And uh, love to invite anyone to stop by the booth, check these out in person, or to download our public beta. Everything I'm showing here is already available in public beta. So you can try it out today in Creative Cloud.